So last time we left off with this, it's completely dry. And what I need to do before I do anything else on here is get my paper doll together. So this is a sheet of wax paper. And I'm going to assemble my paper doll and get her done. So I have at least an idea of how far I want it. Now I want this, I decided to, to have the cherry right here because I wanted something to cover the back of the chair. And I remember I had this cherry and I'm just going to use her head, her the, the neck for the cherry stem. And, and then I cut this cup, and this cup is going to go right here. So there's a big cherry inside the little cup right there. Now, this has taken me a good while to figure out. So it's not something you could just grab and do all of a sudden. And then I cut this girl's uh, skirt to her feet. And I just want the frill at the bottom to show. But then I, on the top, I want enough room to put these cups balancing on her head. So I might do like this. Something like that. And for hair, I don't even know what to do for hair. So I decided to put these two stickers which is going to be a feather sticker on this side and a leaf sticker on this side and I got these from the Dollar Tree and they come in these uh, Main Street wall creations so I thought that were pretty good for a dollar you get these big stickers and this is a bird cage with flowers and that's where I got the leaf and the other one oh well we have these too that would probably be cuter maybe that instead of this leaf okay well second thought I'll do this one here and with the feather and that kind of matches better. Okay. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Now these are, are stick-ons. So because I'm going to end up Mod Podging everything over, I'm going to glue those down with Mod Podge also. Alright, so so far I got that. And I want to make sure she fits on my 12 by 12 canvas. Now, when you do work on a canvas, try not to have an, the image all the way to the edge, the, the main image. Because if you frame this, or if you, whoever gets it, gives it, you give it to or sell it to, and wants to frame it, is the frame is going to come in about an eighth of an inch, at least, maybe more, could be a quarter. So my rule is try to stay a quarter of an inch inside, inside the edges for your signature. Like if you want to sign, I always sign bottom, bottom right. I always go up a little bit to make sure nothing's going to cover it. Or if you're working on paper and someone wants to put a mat over it, the mat also needs to go over the edge uh, about a an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So keep that in mind when you're creating something. Then I'm going to have one arm holding up this. And I had to cut this down because it was too high. It was hitting up there. and So that's where the little cup right here comes from. And she's going to be holding that one. And let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, I have this, a half of, this is a half a plate. How does it go? Yeah, this way. 
this is going to be like a half a plate and this one's going to go all the way to the edge and it doesn't matter if the frame covers this a little bit you can still pretty much tell what it is and this arm is going to be balancing these plates so she's got a, a stack of plates on each hand and one on her head and when I started doing this and I saw that it had the diner theme, I thought, you know what? I'm going to name her. She works hard for the money. And these little chairs came off the same page as that, but they were on the end of the page. So I think I'm either going to do, I don't know if I do both of them, but I'm definitely going to do this one. But that's not going to be attached to my doll. And as far as the bottom, the... uh She's going to be standing on that. So that's my little doll. Um, I'm going to put her together first. Like that, I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to be doing. Okay? So first of all, first thing that needs to go down is this, her head. And I want to make sure it is well glued on there. So I'm going to use this, and I have very little left, uh, Golden Gel Heavy Gel Medium. It's Heavy Gel Gloss. And this stuff is like super, super sticky. There's nothing stickier than this. So we're going to put this one, her little feathers. And I'm just going to lather on there with my finger all right and then her little flower it's going to be with some more And this dries clear as a high gloss. So it would be fine. Some Mod Podge would work just fine on top of it. I don't know. I'm thinking this way. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, there. And then her plates are going to go on top. Like so. So, I'm going to add some more goo right here. Get off of there. Oh. Whew. Now this cup is not completely like you know finished, so I'm gonna worry about that once I have uh, glued it down, and I'll do something around it. So that's my girl's head, and. And then we're going to do, I'm going to put this aside for a minute. This has got to go in here. And 
is going to sit on this chair. Shh. Hush, little girl. Mama's making a video. Yeah. No, we can't have that. I think I'm just going to attach her head. Or maybe not. This would be like one piece I can attach later on top. Okay. What I do want to attach is the legs. Mopti, leave me alone. I'll play with you later. This is a short video, I promise. I promise, girl. I wonder if you can hear my kitty cat crying. She wants me to play run run with her. Right there. And oh, what else? And her arms. Now the model's arms that I use have hair on them, so I don't know how that's going to show through, but I have to have enough room where this is up here without going over. Maybe she needs to be a little bit more down, like this, right there, and that one's right there, that's a good place. Okay, I uh, hope that works. And then this one's right here. her arm okay and ooh, I'm gonna lose that little flower I don't want to lose that little flower all right so um I think that's all I'm gonna glue for right now because the rest is just gonna be in pieces so now I'm gonna have enough time let's see how is this gonna go okay her body's right here. Cherry. Plates. More plates. Flooring. And another chair right here. I like that. That's going to come out really cute. Now, the background is too bright and busy. I noticed that. So, we need to get a little more subdued. So, I'm thinking more of a grayish, grayish tones with black designs. Okay. I'm gonna take all these and save them for later. This is the first time I do a collage like this, so I, I'm not really expecting much, but I'm kind of excited. It's starting to come together. All right, on here, I'm going to. I probably should glue some more of these polka dots. I think the polka dots are doing fine. And I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. And kind of maybe fade it out into the distance. Yeah. I'm going to glue this right here because it's on the edge. I'm 
I guess I'm a covered guard field, but that's all right. And I'm going to put a few more of these uh, here and there. Or maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I think this would be cute. Something like that. Start modge podging again. Oh yeah, this one's gonna wrinkle. It's a little bit big, so I'm going to wet it first. Yeah, I'm gonna wet this one a little bit. Trying to avoid those wrinkles. Now, in my last video, I explained how. When you have a large piece of paper, especially thin paper like, like magazine paper, if you wet it first and let the water absorb it completely, it will expand to its form that it's going to be when it's wet before you put the glue on it. Like that, it won't wrinkle up. Badly. Okay. So what I'm using here is Mod Podge Mat. And I'm putting a good juicy amount there. And my chair is going to go right here. And I want this to be even with the edges of the picture. And this is not a not a focal point so I'm not worried that the frame might end up covering it. Now I'm going to mod podge on top and I shouldn't have any problems at all with bubbles or wrinkles. The only lines you should see is the paper underneath. Now, I didn't cut the back of the chair, I realized that, but that's okay because I'm going to end up painting this anyway. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit more, more of these. Let's go put one right here. Now, this polka dot paper is scrapbook paper and it's a little bit a lot thicker than than the magazine paper so I'm not worried about it buckling or or anything I can just rub it in with my finger and it should be just fine hmm. some of that print must have came out a little bit dark okay right there and maybe I was gonna put another piece over here just because
is dry to the touch, not a bubble or a wrinkle. And these are pretty good. Okay. So what I said, I was going to do some gray in the background. Let's see. I have this gray. Apple Barrel Country Gray. Also have silver. And metallic white. I do metallic white and gray. That would be cool. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to put a little bit here. Especially get those uh, white parts out. Yeah, I'm thinking, should I do the, no. What brush, what brush to use? There's just a little, about a half an inch. And I'm gonna Yeah, sometimes your fingers is your best tools. Just want to make sure I get rid of all this white here. I'll just kind of like scrub it in there. And this one tore up in half while I was gluing it. should have checked that I just want to get rid of some of some of the paint a little bit here on my my polka dots I really want to make my polka dots a little more prominent than the other stuff okay over that image but I still wouldn't be able to see it so I'm just gonna like gently dab it like these candy jars. Problem with doing these backgrounds, sometimes you fall in love with a certain look and it's like actually background is there pretty much just to take up space and fill in the gaps and help with inspiration. Still a little bit on the wet side. I'm going to spray it and pick up some of that. Wet 
wait. All right, and I'm going to dry this a little bit. to do is geometric designs so that's what I need geometric designs with some black paint where's my black paint oh right here geometric designs with my black paint Ooh, this paint got a little gooey. Okay. And some mark making tools. I can find them. Ah, okay. I have some Poncinella here. This would be good for the floor area. Maybe right there. Hmm? And I'm going to use my round kids brush for that, which is right here. I got a little wet, still wet from when I sprayed it earlier. Work it into the brush. And just a little bit of it here. Oh, table's going to shake again. Sorry about that. I am working on getting this set up a little bit better shape. I think all I need is a flagpole holder. You know those uh, angled tubes that you screw to the wall where you slip in the flagpole? Yeah, one of those. And I can put my selfie stick on that and hold my phone and it'll be attached to the wall and not hanging off the lamp in my on my desk. So it don't matter if I shake my table. It won't get that mouse shaky. Okay, I like that. And we're gonna put a little bit here. And Came out or not. Nope. That's okay. I'm not that crazy about this. It's a little bit too much for me, but that's okay. We'll fix it. And let me see what other things I have. Get into my 
my bag of goodies here. Oh yeah, I got this spoon. That's a cute spoon, but the only thing, I, I don't like the for you on that. I wonder if I could cut that off. Yep, I sure can cut that off. This one I bought it because it was clearance to like almost nothing I just I like the spoon but the for you has got to go Ugh. okay I'm just not one for words and although like I've titled this one already she works hard for the money i'm not going to write that on there i mean you can obviously see she's working hard for her money I'm trying to balance all her little plates and stuff all right got four you taken out of there there we go so what i'm gonna do with this is uh Dip it in some paint. I'm just gonna make it to be long enough for this. Black paint. Yep, that's good enough. And where am I gonna put it? How about right here? Ooh, and it's very watery. But that's okay. Kind of like it that way. Ooh. I think I got a little bit too much paint on there, folks. thing enough spoons I believe and I'm about to clean this real quick mess up my stamp This thing is a heart. I should have made a heart. Oh. Huh. Now, she is, I do have a lot of red in this picture. So, I'm going to get some red. And add a little bit of red accent. How about that? Clean off this. Bird. 
brush and add a little bit of red. And this is just a, a, a foam piece that was uh, with, with the children's crafts. Also got it because it's, it was cheap. My girl's gonna be like standing right here and with all that. Go black, red, and of course, there's gonna be some turquoise involved here. Turquoise, and get a good turquoise color. Where do I have a good turquoise color? paints went up oh, there it is this turquoise and what I'm gonna do here is try to go over that because I, I don't like that no 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 sure no so dry this up going to go a little bit off okay like here's here's the exact design right there I'm gonna move it up and over just a little bit just a little bit and run some of this on it anyway I'm hoping that works turquoise there maybe there's splash of turquoise here
mess. That's okay. It's only paint. It can be fixed. Yes. Yes, it can. Okay. I like this color, but not that much. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe this. Now, what I need to do is find my stencils. That's the only one I found. That's why I'm messing with it. Ah! This is... Let's see. Instead of stencils, here's my bubble wrap. Probably should get some fresh rubble, bubble wrap. Uh, but I'm not sure where I have fresh bubble wrap. Is it in the spare room I am? I'm not going now. Okay. Uh, let's see. A little bit of white. And clean this off. I'm going to do some white on the bubble wrap. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Oh, but my white skin contaminated in this. And what is this? I should get a clean bubble wrap. What happened was some of the, the paint that's dried on here came loose when I put more paint on it. Yeah, I see right there. That's okay. And I'm gonna put some bubble wrap right here. And some right here. And this has got crusty bits from that were dried up on the bubble wrap. All right, enough of this bubble wrap. That's good. Whew, it's going in the garbage. You got to get some new one. Okay, that's better. Um, what else? I need to. <clears throat> I need to make like a frame. Oh, oh it's good. It's stuck on here. Well, before that, let me dry this a little bit.
going to take some of the metallic white, which I have very little of, and I keep forgetting to buy some more. And I'm going to wipe it on here a little bit, just to, especially in the middle where this thing's going to be. This is very translucent, but it gives it a really pretty shimmer. And I want her to shimmer a little bit. Just gonna be right there in the middle. All right. And you're not gonna be able to see that very well in the video. Now I'm gonna take some of this black. And start inking up the edges and this needs to be torn off and I'm just gonna smudge it with my finger a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. it works better like this and just rub it on there Okay, this background's turning out completely different than I was hoping for. But then again, I don't want anything to take away from my girl. I don't want it to be so bright that you don't see her. So that's why I went with these subdued colors. And I really, I'm starting, I, I like it now. Okay, I also see that I need a little bit more of that turquoise in another spot just because it's it, it needs to balance out a little bit. So putting it there, here I got most of the color. I need a little something here. So some more turquoise this time. Could be a little bit more patient with it. Somewhere right here. Like that. I 
have some turquoise there and then I took it out. <laughs> like that. Okay, that's that's good. A little tiny bit here in the corner. Right, I like it. It's uh, it's got just enough color. And that's all I'm gonna do for right now. And I'll come back when everything's dry and I'm ready to glue it on and, and then paint on top. See you next time.